Victor on number one. Number one says 190 times 261. Do we have any decimals in this number? No. no. So will there be any decimals in our answer? No. It's from us. Y'all are so sweet. Thank so you. Welcome. I appreciate y'all big time. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm going to turn my paper sideways. Does it matter which number goes on top or which number goes on bottom? No, no because they both have how many digits? Three. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put them like they are. 190 times 261. Now, how many partial products am I going to have? Three. How do I know that? There's three digits in the second number, correct? Okay, so what am I multiplying first? One times, then one times, then one times. Okay, so one times zero is zero. Okay, then one times nine is nine, and one times one is one. Okay, now I need somebody to tell me what I need to do next, Emma. Mark out my one. Mark out my one. And bring down a zero. Obviously, I didn't carry anything, so there's nothing to erase. Okay, so now, what am I multiplying by? Six. Six times, then six times, then six times. Okay, six times zero is? Six times nine is? Fifty-four. So I'm going to write my, carry my, Okay, six times one is plus five more. Eleven. Good. Okay, now what? No, I'm adding, subtracting, multiplying. I'm hearing different different things I need to do right now. Am I am I adding yet? No, I have something else to multiply. Am I subtracting? No. No, I don't know where we got subtracting. Okay, so what do I need to do, though, first before I multiply again, Nisha? Mark out my six, erase what I carried, and add two zeros. Okay, so now what am I multiplying by? My last, my last digit, two times, then two times, then two times. Okay, so two times zero is two times nine. So I'm going to write my, carry my, and two times one is, plus one more is three. Two times one is not three. Okay, do I have three partial products? One, two, three. So you people that told me before we even did this line to add or subtract, I don't know where you got that. Okay, so now what am I ready to do? Add. Now I'm ready to add. Zero plus zero plus zero. Nine plus zero plus zero. One plus four. One plus eight. And one plus three. Do I need to put a decimal anywhere? No. no, but my comma, I need to count over how many places? Three. three. One, two, three. So it goes between the nine and the, nine and the five. five. And I want somebody to read that number to me. Go ahead, Junior. Uh-uh. Nope. Sure not. Uh, go ahead, Isaac. Yes, 49,590. There's no comma in it. Or there's no uh, decimal. There's a comma. Comma and decimals are different. 49,590. Okay, now my next one. Jacorian, you got all that written? My next one is 88 divided by what? 16. Nope, not 16. 16 hundredths. Okay, so which number goes inside and which number goes outside? Okay, 
88 goes inside, and that number is not 16. That number is 1600. 1600s. So you need to get it correct every time. Goes outside. Now, can I go ahead and start dividing? No. No, I cannot. What do I have to do first, Kalia? How many times, Kalia? Two times. She's right. One, two. Okay. Do I have a decimal in 88? No. no, it's not there, but where could I put it? Behind the eight. That's where it's starting, correct? Now, I need to do what with that decimal on the inside? I need to move it two times to the right. One, two. What can I put in those spaces? Zeros. Once I've moved it two times to the right, it needs to go straight where? Up. Straight up. I don't know why we're saying down. It needs to go straight up. Now again, do not make this mistake. Do not make this mistake. Can 16 go into 8? No, it cannot. What goes on top of the 8? A zero. A zero. 16 cannot go into 8 because why? 8 is too small. So a 0 goes on top. Now, can 16 go into 88? How many times can 16 go into 88, Colt? 5 times. Let's check and see. 16 times 5. Well, 5 times 6 is... 30, so I'm going to put my, carry my, 5 times 1, plus 3 more, 8. Could we get any closer without going over? No. So he is correct. Where do I need to put that 5? Above the 8. Hold on. Now, 5 times 16 is 80, so I'm going to write 80 under 88. 88 minus 80 is 8. What do I need to do next? Bring down my zero. Very good. How many times did we just say 16 went into 80? Five times. So I'm going to write my five where? Above the zero. Okay, so 5 times 16 is 80. And I subtract 80 minus 80 is zero. Am I finished? No. No, why not? I still have a zero that I have to use. Yes, I still have to use it. No, I cannot leave it as a blank, can I? No. No, so if you leave it like this on your test on Friday, it's what? Wrong. Wrong, it sure is. It's wrong. How many times does 16 go into zero? Zero. So what do I need to do? Put a zero on top of the zero. So that changer, that answer just changed just by putting a zero. It just went from 55 to what? 550. Those are two completely different numbers, aren't they? Uh-huh. So if we had not put that zero, you would have been left with 55 and 55 is not the answer. Okay. So zero times 16 is zero. Sorry, I forgot to bring the last zero down. And zero minus zero is zero. So now I'm finished, correct? What's my answer? I want somebody to raise their hand and tell me. What's my, uh uh, raise your hand and tell me. What's my answer, Kaden? No, not zero and. It's surely not. You're telling me that there's a decimal right here. Uh uh. Uh, Nana, go ahead. 550. Plain Jane, 550. Good old Plain Jane, 550. We got it? Okay, so now I'm going to turn it back. And we are looking at number three. It says three and two thirds plus six and one fifth. Ooh, I got this answer, Miss Sneed. Done. Nope. Huh? 
Why not? It's wrong. It's wrong. Oh, I need to find a common denominator. Silly goose. Okay. So what's my common denominator between three and five? Three and five, Colt. Fifteen. Fifteen. So two thirds, Colt. What did you change it to? Good. 10 over 15 is what he changed it to. Everybody agree? Yes. What did he multiply to get 10 over 15? Five. He multiplied by 5. Okay. Um, one fifth. One fifth. What did we get, Kalia? Sure did. What did we multiply to get 3 fifteenths? We multiplied by 3. Do we agree? Okay, so now I want somebody to put this problem back together so that I can add it like it wants me to. Uh, Emma, go ahead. Three and ten fifteenths plus six and three fifteenths is what she said. Do we agree? Yes. Okay, if we add just our fractions first, what do we get, Nevaeh? Just our fractions. 13, yes. 13 what? Yes, 13 over 15. Then if we add just our whole numbers, what do we get, Blessing? 9. So what's our answer? 9 and 13 over 15. 9 and 13 over 15. See how that answer changed when I found a common denominator? Everybody got it? Okay, we're going to stop right